Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be ranking the top 10 best cards in NBA 2K25, my team right now. Now, keep in mind, these lists are opinion, entirely opinion. Um, so if you disagree on the guys in this top 10, that is okay. Especially towards the back half of the top 10, I think there's a pretty good amount of room for debate with these cards, um, just because there are a lot of good cards who are right on that borderline of the top 10. But I think we put together a pretty good list and hopefully y'all will enjoy it as well. Give you a good idea of the cards you should be targeting in my team. Although a lot of these guys are pretty untainable because of their prices. Um, with that being said, before we hop in, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel. We hit 30K literally about five minutes ago, I think, as I record this video. Really do appreciate all of y'all's support on the channel, man. Um, and we're on the road to 40K now. It's gonna be quite a while, but I appreciate all y'all's support, man. I really do. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Number 10 is going to be Derek Coleman, who is a six foot 10 power forward, shoots the ball at a high level. His jumper is a little janky, I'm not gonna lie, but he's got great size, 96 offense, 95 defense, and 92 three ball, 85 standing and driving dunk. So he's a real athlete. He's a versatile defender on the perimeter and the interior. 94 rebounding, 84 speed and agility. Really nice card. 95 strength as well. He can play center if you want him to at a high level because he's got enough size and interior defense for that. He's got half set shot specialist, post lockdown, brick wall. Gold badges like poster as rise up, dead eye, limitless range, bailout, break starter, interceptor, pogo stick, rebound chaser, high flying denier, and paint patroller. And that's all as a base card. He is a super complete, super good option at the four or the five and definitely one of the better bigs in all of NBA 2K25, my team. Now, at the number nine spot is going to be Diamond Wilt Chamberlain, who is the best inside big, like pure inside non-shooting big in the game. 92 offense, 99 defense, seven foot one. A 72 mid-range is pretty hittable. 39 three ball, not so much, although I have seen people hit open with him. 93 post stats are great. 90 standing and 90 driving dunk is also elite, of course. 77 pass accuracy, not terrible. 93 block, 90 interior, 82 steel, 83 perimeter, 95 and 96 rebounding, respectively. 89 speed, 84 agility, 91 vert, 94 strength, 94 stamina. Does everything at a truly elite level at the center position besides shoot the ball. He has elite size, a great player build, a 8-foot wingspan as well, which helps him out a ton defensively. Hoff rise up, pogo stick, box out, beast, rebound chaser, brick wall, paint prodigy, and paint patroller. So some solid gold badges as well. He is one of the most elite cards in the game, certainly one of the most dominant, and without a doubt in my mind, deserves a spot in this top 10, despite his inability to shoot because of how good he is. Number eight, Chris Mullen. This card is not a card I would have expected to be top 10. I'll be totally honest. When I saw we were getting pink diamond Chris Mullen, I was like, eh, I'm sure it'll be good, but I wouldn't expect him to be insane. He's pretty insane. 99 on offense, 95 defense. His jumper is better this year. It's really nice, really smooth. He's got good size at six foot seven, especially at the shooting guard position. A 95 mid range and a 98 three ball. One of the very best shooters in the game. 95 free throw as well. Even a little bit of athleticism with a 75 driving dunk. 86 ball handle, 85 pass accuracy. A versatile, good defender can guard in the interior pretty well. Elite perimeter defender. 90 speed, 91 agility, 84 speed of ball, 84 vert, 80 strength. Does everything well, even interior wise to a certain extent. Has 24 base badges, including 11 hops, which include dead eye limitless slippery off ball challenger off ball pest interceptor layup mix master physical finisher set shot specialist shifty shooter and strong handle a lot of elite shooting there but some other good stuff as well gold badges like posterizer bailout break starter handles for days unpluckable pick dodger glove pogo stick and move enforcer lightning launch non ball menace he is just so complete as a base card such an elite shooter and so versatile as an overall card as well not just a shooter he is a great great card in my team no doubt about it Excuse me. Number seven is actually going to be, in my opinion, the best power forward in the game, which is Pink Diamond Cara Malone. Um, one of the only cards on this list that I actually have. 99 offense and 98 defense. 82 mid range, 82 three ball, 95 close shot, elite post game, 90 standing, and 95 driving dunk provides exceptional top tier athletic ability. An 89 block, 94 interior, 83 steel, 82 steel, or sorry, 83 perimeter, 82 steel, 91 rebounding, 89 speed is elite. Um, 90 vert, 92 strength. He does everything well. He's got enough size at 6'9 to go at a high level now my car has a couple extra hall of fame badges that he came with um he comes with i think base posterizer aerial wizard pogo stick box i'll be stream on chaser paint prodigy physical finisher maybe six of those seven um mine also has some extra gold badges added as well i bought this car with a couple extra hoffs and he's fully badged as well when i bought him but as a whole he's just an elite defender He's versatile on the interior and the perimeter. He's got a smooth, easy jump shot. He's super athletic and has elite level speed and good size at six foot nine at the power forward position. In my opinion, the best power forward currently in NBA 2K25, my team. 
Besides, I guess, one guy, technically, but that guy's probably not really considered a power forward for the most part. Um, number six is going to be Diamond Russell Westbrook. His slashing ability fits this game's meta perfectly. He has elite size at PG at 6'4", an 88 mid-range, 83 ball, 85 free throw, 95 driving dunk. Insane as a slasher, obviously. Really great perimeter defender as well. Good size at 6'4", helps him out on the interior. 96 speed, speed of ball, 93 agility, 95 vert, 94 stamina. Obviously an insane slasher, Hoff Dimer as well, Hoff Lightning Launch, Gold Badgers like Handles for Days, Unpluckable Challenger, Pick Dodger Glove, On Ball Menace, and High Flying Denier provides elite level defense even as a base card. Comes very complete, him having Bronze and Movable Enforcer, so you don't have to add that one. It's one of his five badge slots. is also super nice. Can just upgrade it to gold. Overall, he's an absolute beast. You could make an argument he's the best point guard in the game. I personally wouldn't, but I think he's a truly top tier card, and I think number six is totally fair. Number five, Pink Diamond, Tracy McGrady. Six foot eight, 99 offense and 90 defense, 94 driving layup, 95 mid range, 94 three ball, 97 driving dunk, 90 ball handle. Insane offensive card. Defensively, he's certainly not shabby either. 87 perimeter, 82 steal. Remember, he's 6'8 at the two with a seven foot two wingspan. He's got 91 speed, 87 agility, 86 view of ball, 98 vert. Not the greatest strength, but 98 stamina as well. Elite level athlete elite level card one of my favorite cards in my team for sure Hoff poster as a dead eye limitless and safety shooter gold badges like bailout break starter dimer hams for days i added some defense to him for sure because he does need defensive badges added but with those defensive badges added he is an elite two-way card who is just one of the very best shooting guards in all of my team awesome card at number five number four came out this past weekend and it is pink diamond to gary payton six foot four 92 offense and 99 defense offensively he's not quite rust although he does have an 89 three ball 83 driving layup or sorry 94 driving layup and an 80 driving dunk he does have legit finishing and legit shooting his release has improved this year as well which certainly helps him as a shooter great ball handler great pass accuracy unbelievable defender 95 speed 95 speed ball 98 agility as well 86 vert and strength again 64 pg with incredible incredible top tier defensive ability even on the interior at this point in the year 11 half 17 gold badges you got half dimer challenger off ball pass pick dodger glove interceptor removable enforcer physical finisher lightning lot strong handle and on ball menace 28 total badges as a base card is absolutely insane um really means that even if you just add a couple of badges like limitless range brick wall he basically comes with every single important badge in the game on at least a gold and that's in the basically third week of September. The game's been out for less than three weeks, and Gary Payton is already insanely complete, a near-perfect point guard, at least badge-wise, for this point in the year. Unbelievably top-tier card at number four. Number three, same set. Pink Diamond, Scotty Pippen, best shooting guard in the game. Unbelievable slasher. Unbelievable, especially defender, and a truly top-tier release. While he's not a top, top-tier shot creator, he does everything else on the court at an absolutely elite top-tier level. One of the best shooters in the game, one of the best slashers in the game, and certainly one of the best defenders in the game. Just an incredible all-around card. Elite athleticism, six foot eight at the two. He is, and I mean, his release is one of my favorites in the game as well. He is truly top-tier. Did a gameplay with him yesterday. He is about as good as it gets right now as any card in my team, and... I mean, him having Hoff set shot specialist in addition to all the defense that he's got on Hoff and Hoff posterizer is just absolutely elite. With a badge, with a few badges, Scotty Pippen is also one of the most complete cards in the game. He is absolutely elite in my team and definitely deserves a spot in the top three. With that being said, the top two I don't think are that much of a surprise. Number two is LeBron, 6'9", 99 offense, 98 defense. He's basically Scottie Pippen with a great jumper, great slashing, all that type of stuff, except even better as a slasher and definitely better as a shot creator as well. 95 speed, 91 steel ball, 93 agility, 94 vert, 90 strength. Nothing on this card is basically below 90, at least of importance. 88 steel, 80 block. I mean, we're fine. 89 three ball in mid-range, that's basically a 90 right there as well. Brock Ron does everything at an insane level. And also, as a base card, he has 22, 32, 33 base badges. If you fully upgrade LeBron's badges, you can have all but two badges in the entire game on at least gold if you want. That's insane. Like, just give him every badge except for Hook Specialist and maybe... I don't know, mini marksman or um, slipper. I, I don't know, box up beast or whatever. Like, he gets every single badge in the game, though, besides two if you fully badge this card up. And his stats are truly top tier. His release is way better this year. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, bad about this LeBron James card. He has insane longevity and is an absolutely elite card in my team. And there's a reason he's so rare and so expensive because he's unbelievable. In my opinion, the best card in the game is Kareem, a seven foot two center who has incredible inside ability, basically Wilt Chamberlain, but also can shoot the three ball. At this point in the year, it's just, a, it's just a different level of card. 90 standing, 90 driving dunk, does everything at a truly insane level. Incredible defender, incredible rebounder. Super fast as well, 88 speed, 85 agility, 85 vert, 93 strength. Like, there's just nothing about Kareem that is even really a flaw. Like, the 62 three ball sounds like a flaw, but 
His release is smooth and easy. I feel consistent and pretty confident shooting the ball with him, and he does everything insanely well. Unbelievable rebounder as well. His size is elite. He's the biggest center in the game. He's the, well, basically the fastest center in the game, and he can shoot. Like, there's nothing to say about this cream about any sort of real flaws. He is an unbelievable card. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate you all. Peace.